What's up, Panther Nation? Bill Mack here with a little bit of Panther Prime news. Breaking news that not too long ago out of Charlotte as Steve Wilkes was giving his press conference. We are ahead of this week's um, week uh, 14 matchup. I think it's 14. Might be 13. It might be 14. Uh, matchup coming off the bye week. Uh, the Carolina Panthers will be taking on the Seattle Seahawks. And along that, we've learned some things. Uh, here we see that uh, as per the Carolina Panthers um, website, that it, Steve Wilson has announced that Sam Darnold will start and that P.J. Walker will back him up. So where is Baker at on this depth chart? Let's we'll see. Let's go down to and break down this story here. And like I said, per thanks to Panthers uh, dot com for this um, for this story. Of course, the Panthers uh, here. Steve, um, the interim coach uh, Steve Wilkes decided to stay with Darnold since Darnold had a a a a pretty decent game this past um, <clears throat> opportunity to be on the field. And so it says that that Darnold will re replaced uh, Baker in the starting lineup against the Broncos. Said a little something before the bye week. Uh, of course, you know Mayfield was his backup, but then once PJ Walker became healthy once again, which we need. Sorry for any background noise. I the bad spot where I'm at. Anyways, um. Baker, uh, now that Walker is healthy again, um, the they, Steve Wilkes has decided and told the quarterbacks Monday morning that um, P.J. would be the backup. And it talks about Darnold coming um, off his game, like against the Broncos, with 164 yards. Didn't turn the ball over, and he got a touchdown. So it looks to be like the fight will be between uh, Sam Darnold and P.J. Walker for the rest of the season. As the Panthers, of course, if you remember, they traded a conditional 2024 pick uh, to the Browns in July when they were going after Baker. Um, this was during the um, NFL, uh, the NFL um, draft. They tried to get him, and things couldn't be worked out. So they ended up at a later time getting him. So that conditional four, fifth rounder, that if Baker would play at least 70% of the snaps, that he would get it would turn into a fourth rounder so we've seen along so baker um so baker not being being dropped down now even worse it's not that he's just dropped um as we can ready to get into it right here and now the panthers actually have released breaking news they have released baker mayfield as part of uh Darren Gant um, from the Panthers.com site posted, Baker Mayfield has been released. Let's look at the details here. It says that the experiment is over. The uh, the Panthers released the veteran quarterback on Monday, ending a whirlwind that just didn't go the way that they thought it may have gone. Steve Wilkes talked about it. He said that PJ had definitely moved apart uh, ahead of Baker um, on the depth chart, and that Sam again, once again, will get this start. Um, it goes into detail about the specifics of how they got him, and it just says that he just never really got to, and really he didn't. I mean, how many games have we talked about Baker not doing well in? <clears throat> he, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he started the first five games, but then he won one of those. I mean, it was just horrible. He did have he did have a career high, a season high, two hundred and thirty five yards with a touchdown interception against the Browns, but that was the first game. That was the only game he got. Then he ended up getting a high ankle sprain against the Niners. And then it just seemed like from there Baker just never was gonna do anything. I mean, in seven games it says his stats here that he completed fifty seven point eight percent of his passes with 1,300 yards, six touchdowns, and six interceptions for a 744 rating. So, Baker's out. That's not a shock. I, you know, I mean, the Panthers have really, they have just seemed like they're in such disarray when it comes to the main position of the, when it comes to the main position of their team, which is their quarterback. We all know the quarterback is the main position of a football team, you know, and when you have a good quarterback and he can get in there and, you know, he can he can keep things going, he can make plays, he can do this. Panthers just seem to have failed since Matt Rule took over in finding and who is our quarterback, who is our franchise, who is our future. We still don't know yet. I mean, we've tried 
We tried to get Betty, Teddy Bridgewater. That didn't work out. We tried to get Sam Darnold. That didn't work out. We tried to draft Matt Corral. He never got a solid, play, uh, solid seat of field in the regular season. We then traded for Baker Mayfield. I mean, we gave up so much trying to struggle to get a franchise quarterback, and we just have seemed to fail every time. And now we're in a position to where we were in a rock, between a rock and a hard place with um with this with these picks here because of having um but um having in, being still in line for in a chance to win the division however going further enough down the draft board that we may not be able to get one of the top two guys that are in this year's draft you know i mean we've got some mediocre guys that go beyond but there's like two head and shoulders above it all you know and that's cj stroud and and uh and uh and and yeah you know and i'm just like okay i mean just me it's frustrating because it's like all we were hearing last year was you know you can't there's the quarter the quarterback depth chart is so um and last year draft was so weak and they're like oh just wait till next year it's going to be much better but then when you look at the talent that is in this year's draft now once we get to it or, and as we start to progress for closer and closer to it and people are saying oh you're everybody's trying to jockey for those top two positions but it's like really why you know because everybody is such a fall off so then you hear one thing where don't worry about it from the future it's like oh it's so bright there's so many good quarterbacks next year but then when it comes down to it really it's not it's not like that when once you get to it and you see okay there's only really two and the other guys are okay but they're not really game changers they're not really going to be <laughs> be um they're really not going to be the franchise quarterback you hope the game changer you hope they would be so everybody's jock every, there's like five or six teams that need quarterbacks and there's only really quote two that are worth getting that could be that person for you so the panthers were in between that i mean you can't tell a football team just don't play well so we can get a pick i mean they're going to give their own plus steve wilkes he got hired as an interim he was going to do all that he can anyway just not trying to jack off too much with it let's look at let's look at some of baker's uh stats here for this season uh, according to the uh football database here Baker played seven games. He started five, uh, started six. Um, we see here Baker pretty much for this season. He ended up being um, two. He was one nineteen for two hundred and six yards, a fifty seven point eight percent passing completion record, which isn't good. I mean, it's still that's less than Cam. I mean, he this dude just had some awful games for us i mean we just have that seemed to have that tendency to not know what we're doing when it comes to the quarterback position i mean we did well with running back we traded to christian mccaffrey but then we got Don deontay foreman deontay foreman and shuba hubbard have been doing really well for us this year you know we we've gotten uh wide receivers like we traded um robbie away we did get uh lavisca chenault he's done well i mean he's not our i would love to see him be more investing and more in the play calling you know of uh, bob of uh, of ben mcadoo but we only see him on like little shuttle routes little in rounds things like that where he uses speed but i'd love to see him going deep downfield but if you don't have someone who's able to throw it downfield and get it it's going to be a problem um <clears throat> Um, of course, Baker, like I said, six touchdowns, uh, six interceptions here. As long as it was a 75-yarder, and I think that was too Chenault here, but he was sacked 19 times out of the seven games he was in, 19 times. Not good. Offensive line was not doing him any favors. However, when he, he played this past game that he was in, the offensive line was much better. Mind you, our offensive line really started to connect as the season went on, got better as the season went on. Baker never really got better. He really didn't. I mean, he just, his rating was a 74.4. You know, that's not really good at all. You know, I mean, it's, it's sad to see uh, Baker in just a second. Something just popped up here yeah there we go anyway sorry about that but um 
but Baker being released, I mean, not much really you can do with that. I mean, he 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 just he would never fit, and um, you know, wishing the best of luck. It looks like he may clear waivers. The Niners may pick him up, but uh, we just wish him the best. And it looks like the Panthers now back are square one where we're at the beginning of the season, and we'll see what happens. So, you know, Baker Mayfield out once again in Carolina. Um, um, so really, really tough to see that and uh, see what happens here, Panther Nation. But, you know, as we go along, we can just only hope that um, the Panthers will be able to get the draft pick who they look for and having the quarterback who they look for. So, anyways, for uh, Panther Prime News, this is Bill Mack saying keep pounding. <laughs>